today I'm going to start today's webinar. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. Get any questions, pop them into the Q&A. So first of all, I'm going to let Lindsay introduce herself. So if you can tell us who you are, where you're from, what your prize is. Um, Lindsay's going third today, but just to give you a little taste of what she's going to offer, Lindsay, welcome. Yes, thank you so much, Sarah. Um, I am Lindsay Siandra. I am the U.S. Sales and Marketing Representative for the Ocean Hotel Group uh, in Barbados. And today I will be showcasing to you the Rockley, um, our newest refurbished property on the south coast of the island. And my prize is going to be 60 U.S. dollars uh, in rewards. Super. Thank you very much, Lindsay. And we've also got Peter. Peter, welcome. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. We support the sales and marketing of this wonderful new five-star resort in Barbados um, called Wyndham Grand Barbados Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. Um, I'm going to update you on it. Um, the property is offering everybody today the chance to win £50 sterling of credit towards your MyBooking Rewards account or a 60 US dollar credit, depending on where you are located in the world. So enjoy the webinar. Thank you very much for joining us today. Super. Thank you very much, Peter. And just, just to clarify on that, it's not everybody. Um, everybody's no. open to enter the prize yeah. draw. And Peter's got one prize to give away of £50 or $60. Very. I just thought I'd clear that up quickly, oh, Peter. Actually, fair enough, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, get, get, correct me. You thought I was being super generous today on your behalf. <laughs> Which is great if you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Last but not least, we've got Alice. And it's Alice's first time hosting a webinar today with us. So welcome, Alice. Don't be scared. We don't bite. Um, tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is. So hi guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm Alice. I represent the St Kitts Tourist Board here in the UK. Um, I'm here to do a very brief talk about the wonderful, beautiful island of St Kitts in the Caribbean. And uh, our prize is £50 sterling or uh, $60. Super. Thank you, Alice. Would you like to take us to St Kitts if you can share your screen? Indeed. Um, just I Pre-warn everybody, um, we're having a site technical problem. So you're going to see um, the majority of the screen, but there's going to be the, the rest of the slides down the side. So don't don't worry about um, saying you can't see it. You want it on the big screen. We, we physically can't do it at the moment. So Alice, over to you. Okay, just to check, can you actually see my share screen at the moment? Uh, it's just coming up. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. So um, again, apologies about uh, if you can see some... Um, some words on the top but um, so I'm here to talk a little bit about the wonderful island of St Kitts and uh, hopefully give you a little taster of the island. Um, so some background information about the island of St Kitts. It's known as the Caribbean Sugar Island located in the Eastern Caribbean. It's the larger of the two islands that make up the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. So St. Kitts and Nevis is just separated by two miles of water. Um, the island itself is 23 miles long and the capital of the island is Basseterre. So from the UK, um, we have a direct flight um, on British Airways via London Gatwick to St. Kitts twice weekly, Wednesdays and Saturdays, uh, Virgin Atlantic also flies into St. Kitts via Antigua and Barbados. So we've got regional routes um, from uh, Inter-Caribbean Airways flights between St. Kitts and Barbados, that's four days a week. There's Caribbean Airlines, that's flights between St. Kitts and Trinidad, five days weekly. And then we have Sunrise Airways, and that's flights between St. Kitts and Antigua daily. So you have the options of going direct to St. Kitts, or you can do a, a joint um, venture to the islands of going to other Caribbean islands to St. Kitts. Um, so really the island itself, the destination, it's all about learning about culture, food and people. So I'm going to give you a little clip on uh, a short video. Hopefully you can hear and see the video. Maybe not playing. <laughs> Is it? Uh, I don't think it's playing for some reason. Um, so have, I will. Have you, have you tried to click the button at the side that's to play? Is yeah, that, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? There you go. Just say you're gonna leave. Put a hand on the 
So that's a little taster about the island, and it's really all it's a all year round destination. Has um, for a small island, it has a lot of punch. We've got amazing activities on the island, including zip lining, hiking. Um, my personal favourite is actually the scenic railway tour. That's the only operating leisure train on the Caribbean. Um, you've got uh, free rum provided, a local historian on board as well. Um, obviously, we've been an, um, an island, we've got diving and farm to table experience as well. Um, the island itself has amazing um, uh, festivals and um, music carnivals. Um, one of its famous one is St. Kitts Nevis National Carnival that runs through December and January. So perfect during the Christmas and New Year period. We've also got um, relatively new programs on the island um, that includes the Ketitian Rum Master Program. So you can actually make your own rum, uh, taste it, and uh, it's perfect for couples leisure market as well. We've also got the Limega Natural Farm Tour. That's a guided tour um, on a family owned farm that's right up on the rainforest. And you get to sample amazing three course lunch um, from and all produced um, on the farm itself. The island itself has a number of hotel, uh, hotels catered for three to five stars, so for all budgets. And these hotels can all be booked via gold medal. And I'll just briefly run through some of the hotels that are on offer on the island. So um, forgive me because the, it's, the wording's a little bit small, but Park Hyatt, that's the only resort um, Hyatt hotel in the Caribbean. That is, um, it's a beautiful hotel and it's also the only hotel that faces Nevis Island. So you get beautiful views of the island itself. It's got a water taxi as well right next door. It's about a five minutes taxi journey to get to Nevis or you can go on the public um, uh, water taxi, which is around about 40, 50 minutes. Um, the hotel itself is perfect for families and couples. It's got 126 rooms three signature restaurants and nine treatment uh, rooms as well. The next hotel is the Belmont. The picture itself doesn't do it justice, but it's a beautiful colonial hotel. Um, it's perfect for couples, older families, small groups. Um, it's got two to three um, and four bedroom villas with their private pools as well. Then you've got the Marriott Hotel, obviously one of the, uh, it offers all the amenities one can expect for a Marriott. It's one of the largest hotels on the island with 389 rooms, um, nine restaurants and three pools. One thing is important to know is that 90% of all its rooms are interconnecting. So it's perfect for people with small families um, and uh, for elders as well. Then we've got Royal St Kitts, which is one of the older, um, it's one of the oldest properties on the island. It's family owned, it's self-catering. Um, so it's got 215 rooms. It's just recently renovated its villas as well. We've also got the Koi Resorts. That's part of the um, Hilton collection. Um, as you can see from the picture, beautiful views of the sea and it's next door to a golf course. It does have um, a beautiful Asian fusion dining um, uh, restaurant called the signature restaurant called Koi Resort. Next property is the Sunset Reef. Now, Sunset Reef has only seven suites. Um, it's a small boutique resort. So really, So you I think we've just lost Alice. Alice, are you there? It's a, um, a self-catering resort. It's right in the Caribbean beach of Frygate. So it's amongst all the beautiful um, restaurants. So you, even though it's self-catering, there is a number of uh, restaurants nearby, all walking distance. Alice, and um, your screen share stopped working again. Um, it's, it kind oh. of threw you out, you froze, and then your screen share is not working. So could you just share again from where you're at? Okay. Um, uh, 
Can you see that? Am I sharing? Not yet, but Let me just have a look. Sure. Can you see that? Yeah, I've to do it now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. So that's um. Did you which bit did I freeze? Sorry, Sarah. Did I get to Timothy Beach? Um, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay, well, I'll start. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so we've got Timothy Beach Resort. That's a long-term favourite for returning visitors. As you can see, it's got that sort of Miami, sort of sort of chalet chic feel to it. It is a self-catering facility, um, and it's right located on the Caribbean beachfront, so has perfect uh, views of um, the Atlantic. Alice, um, sorry, could you go back to sunset? Uh, sunset reef sunset reef yeah yes okay so sunset reef as it says sunset is amazing it's got the best sunset views of um, all time i've seen it is a small boutique hotel uh, resort only with seven rooms perfect for families as well as couples um you can hire the whole whole place for a wedding or for birthday parties um, and it, it is a geothermal energy. So you can see from the pictures, we've got wonderful pictures of the sunset. And then I mentioned Timothy Beach. That's a long time favorite for returning visitors. So last but not least, we've got Sugar Bay Club. That's a family run beachfront property located in the heart of Frygate. Um, that has um, 89 rooms. That is self-catering facilities, um, again, um, right on the strip. So plenty of um, activities, restaurants as well. So I do apologize about the sort of um, the uh, frozen uh, presentation, but we do have an online training program, which um, hopefully you please do go on. Um, we are there for you. We want you to to um it's got all the training tools it's got the presentations as well and the reward schemes we also have a st kitts reward scheme whereby for each booking you make you get 50 pounds per booking so you just need to log on to register stkitsrewards.com or you can actually download and um use your camera to take um, a picture of the 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 code um and really as i said if there's anything at all we are there for you. We've got um, a great, um, we've got a great online training program as well. So apologies again for the, the technical hitch there. Thank you very much, Alice. And don't worry, we could we got the message and we could see exactly what we needed to see. So if anybody has any questions for Alice, please pop them into the Q and A. So thank you very much, Alice. We'll we'll do the questions towards the end. Sure. Now we're jetting off to Barbados. Peter, it's all yours. Many thanks, Sarah. How is everybody today? Um, St. Kitts looks lovely, doesn't it? So welcome to the sunny island of Barbados and to the brand new Wyndham Grand Barbados Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So this property opened up in October last year. Um, it's a five-star luxury, all-inclusive property, and it's owned by the government of Barbados. Now, this hotel is part of a new tourism strategy and initiative from the government of Barbados to diversify the hotel product and concept on the island. So this hotel is not designed to compete with any other hotel on Barbados. It's something different. It's something new. Some people have said this hotel probably is something very similar to what you'd get in Jamaica or on the Riviera Maya in Mexico or in Dominican Republic. So it's a much larger hotel and resort compared to most other hotels on the island of Barbados. So it's 422 rooms. It's open to guests of all ages. So it's family friendly, but we have adult only swimming pools, adult only areas, as well as family friendly areas. So who was Sam Lord? or to give him his full title, Samuel Hall Lord. So he was a vagabond, a pirate, and a crusader back in the 1800s, so over 200 years ago. And what he, he did, he inherited the castle. Now, the castle of Samuel 
is here, right in the middle of the picture, and the estate that the hotel sits on is the Samlord's Castle estate. Um, what Samlord did, he actually used to plunder ships as they arrived into the port of Bridgetown on Barbados. Bridgetown is the, is the main harbour on the island, and what he used to do, he used to send his band of merry men and women down and hang light lanterns in the trees that run down from the castle down onto the beach here. What that used to do was confuse the arriving ship's captains and navigators arriving into Barbados, into Bridgetown, thinking they'd already got there. What they then used to do is head inwards, thinking they'd arrive in the harbour, safe harbour. Um, instead, what they would do was, was crash onto the, the fringing coral reefs that sit off the coastline here, break apart, and then what Sam Lord used to do is send his band of merry men and women out to then loot the ships. So he became very wealthy from basically being a pirate. So not a very nice history to the to the resort, um, but it's the estate that the resort sits on. Obviously the resort is a brand new build. It was built uh, through the COVID years and only opened in October last year. So where is it? On the island, it's located a very short 15 minute transfer, one five minute transfer from the international airport, airport called BGI, Grantley Adams International Airport. It sits on the southeast coastline. Um, so you can see it on the screen there. Um, so it's easy to get to from the airport. Um, Bridgetown is about half an hour's dry, uh, drive away. Whole town on the west coast is about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. But actually what makes it really nice is you can explore the east coast beaches of Barbados, which are open to the Atlantic. So these are very, very good surfing beaches. Bathsheba, for example, is a world-class surfing beach where you can surf on high surf during certain times of year. So it makes for a different proposition. Um, the hotel has it on beach, but you can access really world-class surfing beaches along this stretch of coastline within 20 minutes to half an hour. So on arrival, your guests are welcomed into the Breezeway Lobby, which is a grand, imposing structure. Uh, it's in the heart of the resort. So on arrival, your guest arrives, checks in on the right if they're an individual couple or family, or if they're a group arriving together, they check in on the left. You walk to the end of the Breezeway, and then you get to the balcony, which overlooks the central swimming pool of the resort. So on arrival, it has quite a wow experience. The breezeway is open on both ends, so the gentle sea breeze is um, coming through the, the, the lobby area, and the central swimming pool is one of a total of six pools at the property. Now, this is the largest of the pools, lots of um, seating area, lounging area, parasols, and cabanas, and at the moment, the cabanas are complementary for guest use. Um, we have adult-only swimming pools, family-friendly swimming pools. So we cater to guests of all ages and really want to look after them during their stay. So this property has 422 rooms and suites. It's now the largest property on the island of Barbados. And all the rooms were built to face or face sideways towards the ocean. Um, they're very spacious. The smallest room size is 650 square foot, including the balcony. The balconies and terrace areas are very large, and they're equipped with lovely uh, uh, furniture on the terrace there as well. All the rooms have a, a large balcony. This happens to be a suite balcony with loungers on it. Most of the deluxe room category terrace rooms have just a table and two uh, relaxing chairs. So our entry room price um, is the deluxe resort view room. Now this comes with a king bed or two queen beds. This room size is 650 square foot, in, including the balcony. The king bed sits in the middle of the room and behind it is a, be uh, a head, head bed, a bed rest. Um, and behind that is a desk. Below the desk, you've got the mini bar, which is stocked daily and replenished daily with soft drinks, uh, waters and juices as well. You've also got an espresso coffee maker uh, with capsules replenished daily, kettle for tea and coffee making. So you've got all the mod cons, you've got uh, safe, you've got air conditioned and ceiling fan, and they're very spacious, light and bright rooms. So this is what we would, uh, most people define as a standard room. We call them our deluxe resort view rooms. Then we have deluxe ocean view rooms. And this happens to be a deluxe ocean view room with two separate queen beds. Great for families. These can take four people, two adults, two children. Um, but the good thing about this property is it was built with a large number of interconnecting rooms. And the interconnecting rooms always connect a deluxe room with a king bed with a deluxe room with a two queen beds. So you've got um, 
open between if you open the door between the two you have access to uh, the king bed and two queen beds a total of up to seven people so great for larger families um to book it as two interconnecting rooms um all we do is ask you to book them as two adult single occupancy rooms and request interconnecting we've actually got a large number of these interconnecting rooms so great for families with children of all ages all the rooms are very spacious, marble-clad bathrooms with separate WC, um, shower and bath, two separate sinks, so they're lovely, spacious bathrooms. Now, in amongst the deluxe category, we also have 21 that are adapted or created for guests with mobility challenges. These have specifically adapted bathroom areas with grab rails. They're rolling bathrooms, so there's no steps at all. Um, you've got walk-in showers, rolling showers, grab rails. Um, the furniture has all been lowered to the height for somebody in a wheelchair. The doors are wider, so you've got a lot of space to use the facilities of the hotel. The good thing about the hotel is that the entire property is has step-free access from the entry point in the lobby area all the way through the property into all restaurants, bars, up to all the rooms. So it, it has been created with the needs of the mobility challenge guest in mind. So please bear that in mind when you have that type of customer seeking to travel to the Caribbean. Then we've got lovely one bedroom suites. So the terror suite, very spacious, and all the suites have two separate balconies. You've got a balcony off the bedroom area and you've got a balcony off the living room area. This is the bedroom of the terror suite. Then you've got the, uh, the living room of a terror suite. Again, fully equipped with a, a wet bar, mini bar, replenished daily, and all the rooms in all categories benefit from complimentary room service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Ember Suite is the next category up. This happens to have two, a dual aspect balcony off the bedroom area. Very spacious and really, really lovely. The Zephyr Suite is the next category. Again, a lovely one bedroom suite. And our largest suite at the moment is the Ocean Suite. Magnificent, very spacious, all on the top floors and all the suites sit on the top two floors of the hotel. But the Ocean Suites sit on right on the top two floor. And um, you've got a very large space, this living area, Balcony area, and on that balcony, you've got a soaking hot tub. So great for larger families or a couple that want to indulge and really want the best. Glorious views out over the ocean um, and a really nice location right on the top of the, each of the buildings. So there are five buildings in total um, that make up the accommodation blocks of the hotel. So I mentioned the property is all-inclusive. So it's five-star, all-inclusive, including all meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, choice of restaurants, um, a la carte um, uh, gourmet dining, as well as, as buffet dining, three stock mini bar, 24-hour room service, seven days a week. Um, international brand name spirits are included within the all-inclusive program. So what do I mean by international brand name spirits? So, for example, a vodka. Um, the brands that we offer are standard and included in the all-inclusive program include Absolute Vodka and Storage Naya Vodka. But we do stock Grey Goose, Belvedere and Chirac Vodka, which is available, but at a small additional supplement. And those supplements vary between $2 per shot and $4 per drink. And obviously cocktails, beers, wine by the glass from all bars and with all meals. So lots to look forward to at this lovely five-star all-inclusive resort. Our restaurants that are available um, include the Mediterranean Marketplace. So that property, that restaurant is the largest restaurant we have. It also serves buffet as well as a la carte, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So in essence, it's all-day dining. Um, it's family-friendly. Uh, Castle View is our adults-only um, steak and seafood restaurant. It's our fine dining restaurant. Castle View is open for dinner only. It's available for guests aged 13 years and above. So children under 13, so 12 and below, cannot dine at this restaurant. Um, Samuel's Grill is a casual dining affair, um, elevating American cuisine, burgers, snacks, fish and chips, pizzas, wraps, salads, etc., in indoor and outdoor on the terrace area as well. Burnt Cask is our wonderful adults-only rum bar. 
Now, it says tap it in the evening, but the rum bar um, offers a choice of over 100 different types of rums. About half of them are included in the all-inclusive program. The really fine cognac-style rums are not included, I'm afraid. They're available at a small additional charge that is charged back to the room uh, account of the guest. The Lantern Pool Park pays homage to Sam Lord and the lanterns that he used to get his band of merry men and women to hang on the trees that lead down to the beach. So here you can see the beach area. This is a view from the south looking north. You can see the castle here. Um, these are the five blocks of the resort. So you can see the, the blocks all face the ocean. There's no rooms facing inland at all. All the rooms face towards the ocean or sideways. So you can see where my pointer is at the moment. Those would be defined as resort view. So by resort view, we mean they're looking all over the central swimming pool area um, on the sides of the, of the buildings, basically. So the beach is suitable for swimming. Uh, we have a lifeguard on the beach. This picture was taken before the hotel opened, so there's no furniture, parasols, but there are now lounges on the beach. Um, so that's that's the property. Lots of activities at the property too. As I mentioned, five different swimming pools. The sixth swimming pool sits within the spa area of the resort. We have tennis courts, pickleball courts, a great gymnasium, um, and golf is available on the island of Barbados. There are a choice of great golf courses. It's a real golf mecca, and the, the concierge team can arrange for um, golf to be green fees and tea times to be booked. Remember, those beaches of the East Coast are only 20 to 30 minutes away. So you've got windsurfing, kite surfing, and full surfing available on those Atlantic East Coast beaches of the island. In family friendly, we have a children's club. And the children's club is aimed at an age from four to 12 years of age. Under four are accepted as long as they stay, their, their parents remain with them or um, they are potty trained. Uh, lots of activities for children of all ages. Teenagers can dip in and dip out, but teenagers tend to be a little more independent, but they can entertain themselves at the children's club. But the core ages are four to 12 years of age. Daytime activities include art and craft, sandcastle making, um, jewelry, maintaining na nature walks, etc. And in the evening, there's entertainment shows like kiddies talent shows, discos, fashion shows, movie nights, and a lot more. Babysitting is available at an additional charge. Um, that's available at $15 per babysitter for up to three children. Um, the access to the children's club is obviously included in the all-inclusive program. Now, for adult guests, we have a luxurious spa with seven treatment rooms. Um, it's available with treatments of every every type you'd expect from a wonderful luxury spa, uh, massage, manicure, pedicure. Um, you've also got a nail salon and a hairdressing salon late nearby as well. Um, so that's additional charge for spa treatments. They're not included in the all-inclusive program, um, but they are reasonable value for money. Now, great for celebrations. This resort is perfect for weddings and honeymoons and events of any type, basically. So we have wedding packages that are suitable for, for just a couple wanting to get married by themselves, small groups or very lavish affairs as well. We have the largest ballroom on the island. We've got great event space as well. Uh, in front of the castle on the castle lawn is a great place to get married or have a banquet, the wedding breakfast. So lots of space. We have meeting rooms. We have the largest ballroom on the island of Barbados now. It can take up to 800 people in theatre style, banqueting about 700 people. So it's a very flexible resort. And the nice thing about the meeting and event facilities is they're well away from the swimming pool. There's nothing worse than being relaxing around the swimming pool and having people in suits coming around. So we try to keep that type of customer well away from the holiday maker. This is a very quick overview of the resort. So I mentioned we've got five buildings. They're numbered one, two, three, four, and five. You can see where the swimming pool pools are. They're the blue blobs there. Uh, the main central one is here, and this is where the breezeway is. So you arrive at point number three, which is where the lobby and breezeway lobby are, and overlooking the resort. Beach is down here and access to the beach is in front of the castle. Uh, we have about 30 steps that lead from in front of the castle down onto the beach. Now this is the only part of the resort at the moment that is not accessible for those with mobility challenges. We are looking to put in a ramp that takes you all the way around here and down onto the beach that way, but currently not available. So I'm going to play you a quick video, hopefully to bring the property alive and you'll see what it really looks like.
So thank you very much to everybody. Thank you for coming and joining us today. I hope that was interesting, you found it useful, and um, more information can be found on our website, windhamgrandbarbados.com. What I will do, I, was, I will message you uh, on the chat with a link to our Linktree page where you can access the, the website, but also downloadable fact sheets, more information about the resort and high resolution images as well. So thanks very much. Thank you, Sarah. Take care. Super. Thank you very much, Peter. Any questions for Peter? Please pop them into the Q&A for the attention of Peter. So now we're going to pop over. Lindsay's already live. Here she goes. <laughs> Ocean Oak <laughs> tells. <laughs> you were fast then. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Uh, so we are going to stay in Barbados. Um, this time we are going to head a little bit south. Um, and I'm going to tell you a bit about our resort, the Rockland. Lindsay, you keep going, coming in and out of signal. Um, we can't hear you properly. Have you have you turned your volume down or have you got your headphones in? I did not. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, speak near the speaker. Okay, sorry, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yep, all good. All right. I'm just, I don't seem to think, hold on. It doesn't seem like there's my screen. Oh, there we go. Um, perfect. So as I mentioned, we are moving a bit down to the south coast now. Um, we Ocean Hotel Barbados is made up of three resorts, um, all on the south coast. Today, I am going to focus on our newly refurbished and relaunched Rockley property. Um, this again is about fifteen minutes from the airport, so really great great location here. We are about 20 minutes from Bridgetown, um, a five minute walk uh, to St. Lawrence Gap, close to that Oyston's fish market as well. Um, and as Peter mentioned, Barbados is very, very easy to get around. So um, I personally rent a car every time that I am on island. Um, that is how easy it is. Uh, it, you know, it's really great to visit the coast of um, Bathsheba, so the East Coast, which takes probably about an hour or so from our properties, um, but you could do the whole island in, you know, less than a half a day. So the Rockley, the Rockley is located um, on Rockley Beach, um, actually directly across the street. So we are not beachfront. However, we offer our guests all of the amenities um, for their beach vacation as well. So we have, as you can see here, we provide our guests with the beach chairs, the umbrellas, and get them everything that they need for a relaxing day on Rockley Beach, which is right next to Accra Beach. This property is 49 suites. So it's an all suite property. Um, our lead in suite is the junior suite. And then we have up to our two bedroom and our penthouse suites as well. One restaurant on property. Um, and then we also have a, a um, outdoor bar as well. Um, so really great to kind of hang out poolside, have a couple games, have a couple of cocktails before you go out. What's great about our location as well on the South Coast, and if you are familiar with Barbados, you know their culinary is out of this world. Um, we are, we do a dine around program. So, you know, if you don't want to take out your wallet and take a little stroll down the beach, no problem at all. Um, we have a dine and sign program with a few of the local uh, restaurants as well. Some of them are located in um, St. Lawrence Gap, which is a nice stroll in the evening as well to kind of get that local feel. Um, and that's what the Rockley is all about, really. Um, really putting, you know, that Bayesian authentic feel into the property. As I mentioned, our leaning category is a junior suite. So you can see here a really spacious suite um, with a really spacious balcony as well. Um, and then our penthouse suite as well, which is our largest category. Um, some of the rooms as well um, do come with a kitchenette. So we are not all inclusive. This is the only of the three properties that we that are under Ocean Hotels Group that is not um, all inclusive. However, with their location and close to some of the finest dining um, in the uh, on the island, uh, you really don't need it. As I mentioned as well, so the Rockley is really trying to gauge that uh, Bayesian authentic feel. So um, as you can see here, we've got some great local art. Um, 
in the distance there on that back wall of our lobby, you will see some really great art pieces. This actually changes um, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Um, and we sell all of the art pieces as well to our guests. So um, our lobby not only is the lobby to our hotel, but also serves as an art gallery um, for some of our local artists. One pool on property um, as well. So refurbished pool area here, as well as a brand new play space and lounge. Um, so whether you, you know you wanna get out of the sun, you're waiting for a late night flight, um, your guests can hang out here, have some drinks, have some food and you know play some pool, play some ping pong um, and just relax before they, uh, before they head out. Our brand new restaurant as well. So something to note when it comes to the local art, um, all along the walls here, uh, you will see some really authentic Bayesian features. So, um, you know, you've got the lighthouse, you've got the flying fish, which is the Bayesian fish um, all along this, all along the, uh, the walls here. So breakfast is served here. We have lunch and then we also serve dinner here as well. Breakfast is included in the rate. Um, so your breakfast is complimentary for all of your guests. And this is the Rock Lane. Again, thank you so much. Um, please make sure that you are a part of the Ocean Hotels Rewards Program. That is how you are going to get your reward today um, if you are our winner. And I will also send through on the link my contact details and where you can reach me. Super, thank you very much, Lindsay. Does anybody have any questions for Lindsay? I think Peter's been a busy boy behind the scenes answering all of his questions. Um, Alice, did you answer any questions? Did anybody have anything for you? Oh, you need to unmute. Don't think there was any questions, but um, do feel free to have, if you do have any questions to ask me. Perfect, thank you very much. So, just to double double check, there's nothing else that's come. And you see your presentations are so thorough, there's no questions. So that is good. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to, ah, Lindsay, we've got a question for you. So Lindsay, we can't see you. Have you got a video? Yep. Yeah. Uh, can you see me now? Here she is. Yeah, <laughs> Susan asked. Um, for guests staying at Rockley, can they use the other two hotels, the um, O2 and the Sea Breeze? So for the Rockley, um, no. However, your guests um, at O2 Beach Club, we do have a fine dining restaurant um, called Oro. And there is a supplement for any guests that are not staying at the property to visit. However, if your guests do stay at O2, they are able to use Sea Breeze as well. Because those properties are all inclusive, it's a little difficult to have the, the share features between all three of them. Super, thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so as a reminder, everybody that's on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger first and you answer one of the questions from Peter, Lindsay or Alice correctly, you will get 10 points and I will let you know tomorrow who the winners are um, when I put you all into a magic spin to win. So Alice, you started us off with your presentation. So if you can go, if you can uh, ask us what your question is, but first of all, if everybody goes to chat and make sure that you drop down and says everyone. And Alice, if you can ask away your question. Sure, so the question is, what is the capital of St. Kitts? The name of the capital of St. Kitts. Ooh, we've got very fast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, perfect. Okay, so no one's got Crystal, it wrong yet. <laughs> Crystal was the first and she said Bas Basse How would you say how would you pronounce it? Basse 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 is Basse the capital of St. Kitts. Perfect. And do you have to spell it correctly? No, let's. I'm not very good at spelling, so let's. Let's. I think you actually <laughs> did. Um, did get it right. So, um, yes, well done. Perfect. So, it, so Crystal, Crystal, you are the ten points winner on that one. Peter, I hope you enjoyed the presentation, guys. Now, in the presentation, I mentioned a an adults only rum bar. Can you tell me what it's called? It serves rums from all over the world. 
and half of those rums are included in the all-inclusive program at the property. Sounds like a perfect all-inclusive to me. When can I come? It's a huge choice. Yeah. Lots of cocktails, but also some single shot rums as well as rums on the rock. So it's a really good. And don't forget, Barbados is the home of rum, where it was yeah. invented over 200 years ago from the sugar cane that was the biggest plant. You know, it was the biggest commodity that was exported from Barbados many, many years ago. So the correct answer is burnt cask. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, Anybody who said burnt cask. Charlene was the fastest. Um, Alex, I think you was going a little bit too fast with your 422, which I presume you're preempting that it was going to ask how many rooms. Uh, we'll see. I'm trying to keep your toes, guys. That's the <laughs> obvious one. That's the obvious one. So brilliant. So we've got Crystal and Charlene so far with the 10 points. And Lindsay, what Perfect. is your question? So um, I talked a lot about uh, local art and bringing that Bayesian feel into the Rockley. Um, I did mention one thing very quickly. What is the national fish of Barbados? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> and that is flying fish. Okay, so going back up to the top, Kieran, you have flying fish so you have your 10 points so big big thank you everybody thank you to peter lindsay and alice um for the presentations today and don't forget as well the completely trade friendly wanting to work with you which is great in this day and age um so if you have any further questions let them know i will send a full copy of the recording and the contact details of peter lindsay and alice over to you um so you'll have everything to hand um and please do reach out to them if you need any help or suggestions Big thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank Your you presentation so much, is super as always. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you had an eventful and productive day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye, guys. Ta -da. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.